Did you go look for some irises? I saw. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Come on, let's go check out these irises. All right, so we're here at my parents' lake house um, up in North Texas, and uh, be careful. We're gonna go look for some irises. Now, remember, as we talk about iris, we're talking about the common name for a group of plants with beautiful purple, yellow, white flowers, all different sorts. But in reality, that common name stems from the genus known as iris. It's a group that taxonomists have actually put about 300 different species in. So that's a lot, and almost all of them we call irises. We're gonna find more as we drive around the lake. The genus iris comes from the Greek word that means rainbow. It's a well-suited name too because the flowers come in all sorts of colors. And that is what I wanna show you on this little ride today. Now, a few interesting facts. First, the iris is the February birth flower, which actually is somewhat odd because I've never seen it that early, even here in Texas. Next, supposedly irises are the bouquet of choice for your 25 year anniversary. Hmm. Irises are monocots. They have two whorls and three petals, which means six total. And if you're interested in pollination, iris flowers are a classic example of flowers that make sure they only dab pollen onto the bees after they've pollinated the stigma from another flower's pollen. Ingenious. All right, so this ends our little tour of looking for irises around the lake. Um, for those of you interested in cultivation tidbits, then I encourage you to click on this link here because I'm gonna interview my mom and see what she knows about planting all of these wonderful irises that she has all over the yard.